There's no reason to think that the coronavirus is a particular judgment of God. This is a fallen world, not heaven. This is a world subject to disease and decay and death, a world under judgment. But God has not given us a reason to think there is a special judgment because of some particular sin. On the other hand, the Bible is clear that the very presence of sickness and death in the world should remind us to reflect on our response to God. It would be supremely foolish to make our way through this COVID-19 pandemic without personally and corporately examining ourselves and repenting of sin. Personally, have I made plans and set goals without recognising that every day is given to me as a gift from God for the good of others and for his glory? Have I used my time and wealth and abilities to further my own name and interests without consideration of how these might serve God's purposes and his kingdom? Have I resented this intrusion into my plans as though God owed me something when in fact I owe him everything and he owes me nothing? In the time of COVID, have I devoted any time to serving the needs of others or have I had only my own needs in view? And corporately, what should we repent of as a nation or a city or a church? Are we thankless, prayerless, neglectful or contemptuous of God's word, indifferent to the needs of others? Are we self-serving, self-indulgent, self-satisfied? Do we honour our leaders? Do we pray for them? Do we seek to share what we have? Do we speak for the oppressed, the widows and the orphans, the powerless and the voiceless? Have we any concern at all that the name of Jesus should be given the honour he is due? Do we weep over the lostness and hardness and foolishness and ruth ruthlessness of our own nation? Do we long for our neighbours to know the love of God, the gift of the Spirit, the royal rule of Jesus? Jesus denounced the towns in which most of his miracles had been performed because they did not repent. There's the line of clear sight. Blessed is the one who does not reject me. Let those who have ears hear the word of the Lord's prophet. Wisdom is proved right by her deeds. See the works of the kingdom that I have done. Repent. There's the gospel window that Jesus opens. Repentance is the window that opens to the enlivening breeze of forgiveness and adoption. Not a work of our own, but the gospel's work in us when by God's grace, we see with clarity. When by God's grace, we see Jesus. Do you see him?